Hey guys, kind of a quick update on my LM1875 Gain Clone build. Uh, what we have is obviously two LM1875 uh, amp boards. Uh, they have 5600 microfarad filtering caps on each supply. Uh, the supply is comes from this 18 volt split secondary transformer. Uh, we have the power coming in like this and uh, this helps keep uh, everything isolated from each other although they they do share the same ground and the same transformer other than that that's the only thing they share um, you can see the uh, all the components down there I used plus minus one percent tolerance resistors and I used uh, an FR series cap from Panasonic for the uh, I don't know what kind of I don't know what uh, the component it would be technically called but it's in the feedback circuit and then I used uh, Panasonic TSHA series caps for the uh, power supply filtering. The ceramic caps are all from Murata. I think that's how you say it. Um, uh, uh, they're all Murata brand or however you pronounce it, whatever. And then all the uh, resistors are from uh, Yagio or something like that. And then, um, yeah, the actual chips themselves are from like Fairchild or something, whatever. Uh, heat sinks, they're 2.7 or 3.7 degree per watt rated. Uh, they do get fairly hot, they get 120 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or about 50 degrees Celsius, uh, just kind of playing up to about a watt or so, which is really all this amp is intended to do, uh, just give enough room filling sound uh, to be, uh, be able to be heard throughout, uh, I'm in the basement, so throughout the basement. Uh, which these uh, this amp with these speakers does that very very easily so but anyways we are using uh, there's about 24 volts uh, on each supply here so it's a split 24 volt supply after the on the caps there the speakers the they have an eight inch woofer a, a half inch or three quarter inch dome tweeter and a three and a half inch mid range made uh, before I was born before my mother was even born uh, so there's no information on these things anywhere except for the fact that the woofer has a crossover frequency of 2500 hertz and an impedance of 8 ohms. That's all I know. So, without further ado, let's play some music. Oops. Okay, so by the way, these things, uh, I think I blew the crossovers in them uh, because I get like really high pitched whines from this tweeter and like a fuzzy noise coming off of this side over here. Uh, because I played this thing at full volume with this amp uh, running off a laptop, so the input voltage was probably enough to spit out an easy 20 watts with this amp into these. These are rated for 20 watts, um, but. Uh, that was when they were new and they're not new anymore and plus these are supposed to be sealed and I have the port in the back open and I was running them like that and I probably did something plus the crossover caps are only rated for like 10 volts and this thing spits out almost 20 or uh, not 20 it spits out like 14 13 between 13 and 14 at full volume so I more than likely uh, 
did something with the crossover because, uh, anyways. But so besides the slight artifacts that you could probably very well notice, uh, it's a very good amp, uh, very good speakers. Once I build the cro rebuild the crossovers, it should be just fine. Uh, I love these speakers, so I'm not gonna get new ones. Don't tell me any new speakers. Da 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 da. I don't care. I like them. They are what I want. Uh, except the crossovers. I need to redo the crossovers or build pre-built ones or something. But anyways, there's my little amp. Uh, that pretty much concludes it. I'm done. Whatever. Uh, schematics you can find at soundwesthost.com. Sound.westhost.com uh, under the 20 watt per channel amplifier thread or something or another like that um, from sound uh, or from uh, Rod Elliott. And yeah, that's that's all it is. Uh, so peace out, and I will see you in the next video.